Welcome to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I think that's enough of the music though. Right, let's go back to the game. We'll start a new game. We'll create something here. <laughs> I'll go through some of the settings. That's a blank one. That's one has a basic city set up as far as I know. I'm going to go blank. Uh, we're going to make it easy. We don't want unlimited money, but we don't want it too difficult. Unsatisfied citizens will have them on easy because early game, don't know what I'm doing much. Energy management, mm, I think I'm going to go buildings only. I'm not going to have the day and night cycle because I don't really see the point of it. It just makes the game dark for recording, so I'm going to keep the day and night cycle off. It's okay for when you're actually playing normally, but when recording it goes really dark. Building fires, we're just going to leave them normal. Global events, they're not available right now, they're coming soon. This is still an early version of the game. We're going to have pollution on, it's going to make it 1960. Everyone loves the 1960s. Uh, we're not going to lock vehicles according to you. We're just going to have that on all, even though it's available. Do we want to teach children in schools? Parents on, of children under the age of six can only work if they can place children in a kindergarten. Parents can work even if their children are under six years old. We're going to make that super simple because I tried it with the complex and, well... It made it awkward. Not difficult, awkward. But the loading screens in this game are pretty nice. They, they don't take too long. I mean, we'll find out about this one in a second. I managed one sentence and I think the game's about ready finished with loading. It's just, why is it giving me a waiting cursor? Hmm. There we go. We're in game. Pause that straight away. And we'll zoom out into the clouds. Well, I'm going to try starting in a corner, but I'm not going to do what most of the people I've seen previously on the YouTube videos do. They find this corner over here whereby you've got a Soviet co corner and a, well, what should we call this? Dollars? So we'll call it the, the, I don't know corner. So I'm going to find a different corner. And wow, this is a very long distance. Might be actually best moving with the mouse. They definitely make a decent sized map with this. Now you can import power and things like that. Oh, we'll just swing ground. I must admit that for the a new game that's actually in testing and etc. still, this is pretty smooth for a simulation that's it's just sat at a constant sixty frames per second. Oh, we could purchase power on the rupials. Ruby, rubies or what? I can't remember what they're called. Ah! That's not good. Anyway, there's, there's an export house we can build to the custom house. That's that's a bug. That's over the border there. I wonder if I can actually build to that. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't want to, though. Let's stop that. Right, there's also this border over here that's to the Europeans. We'll call them the Europeans. And see, you can um, sell all resources delivered to this custom house will be sold for dollars, blah, blah, blah. We've got $2 million, 10 million rupees. Rupees? Rupees, I'll call them. We can get 
goods to these, but we can't get electricity. I think this one does electricity by the poles that are there. So you can import electricity for, for dollars there. $1.5 per thing. Right, we need to find somewhere to build. So we don't need infrastructure, we need construction. What I'm going to do first is find somewhere nice where we can place some gravel. Because a gravel quarry is a must for this game. For early constructions and things like that, you can save a lot of money by making yourself a construction office. Now I know that I've got supplies there with train and road. And a nice area here where I could build. So let's see, can I... I can get gravel out of here. It's not the best. What I'll do is place a gravel place just there, so we'll flatten the terrain and we can build that. Gravel processing plant. I'm going to build this out here on level terrain, but it's not going to be too far away by road because if it's too far away by road, it takes too long to transport the gravel. Come on, level that out. You can do it. There we go. Oh yeah, I've got the game on pause so that we don't run too much time while I'm actually planning this. Let's see if we can get this level enough to place a second gravel place. Yes, I can. Helps to place it when you're actually clicking. Right. You, you, in the last version of this, you used to be able to run a conveyor out to this, but you can't now. You have to do it by road. So. Select the right road. Oh. This is the thing sometimes, you have to level out the terrain and sometimes it doesn't want to do it. And sometimes you can get it to work like that. I'm going to have to take that out that way because I know for a fact I'm going to have to bring this up. And that's not going to want to do it, is it? No, it's not. You can do that. Okay, that's, that's not as bad as I thought. I, I, and sometimes playing around with it like that, you can get it to accept like that. So there's some quirks with the terrain alignment, like most games. <laughs> right, we'll send this out in this direction. Fair distance. Come on, you can get that to level that bit. Well, that's about the lumpiest road you can imagine. Let's zoom down a bit. There's a strange thing, there's no actual control for the camera. Wow, that's lumpy. Well, we'll make it lumpy at first and then we'll correct it later. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll have to try it. Right, we will want a bus station up here so that we can get workers up. And that's easier said than done, I guess, with the way this is. Might just chop that road and then drop this in. Will that work? Well, by the way, it's connecting up, I would say yes, but can't build due to infrastructure in the way. Can't build due to infrastructure. Oh, that's because the edge of the road there is just within range of the dots. So I need to chop back a bit more road. It's weird. The thing I'm trying to connect to is the thing that's stopping me doing it. Could do with finer control on the rotation there a little bit.
Okay, I've got the bus stopping. That, that, that's at least a good sign. And then the road will connect. The road will connect. Come on. You can do this. You know you can do this. There we go. We know because we just did. Right, I'm going to let that lot build. So the roads are all constructing automatically. And the buildings have built. Right, well, let's cancel construction. Just check that's there. That explosion was loud. Was that really necessary? And that one as well. Ugh. Right, there's no vehicles ready to load stone or no conveyor connection. Has that got a conveyor connection? I'm sure. Absolutely sure. That's footpaths, not conveyors. I'm absolutely sure there was, at one point, a conveyor connection from there to this building. Yeah, it's not showing there. Because conveyor connection for that would be very handy. We'll finish this construction here. There we go, we've got a gravel quarry in there, and... Then the gravel processing plant's in. We don't have any electricity yet. And we have a bus stop. We need to get people in. I need to, first of all, just check something. That we don't have any resources just sat here. So there's... The resources are found by just simply hovering these buildings over somewhere. And if the dots turn green, then they've got the resources in. There's no coal on this flat area. Nope. This is a nice area to build a city in. Uh, let's just make sure there's no none of the other stuff. Da, 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 da. Brick factory. Ooh, what does a brick factory take? Consumes coal. And produces bricks. I would have thought we would have had stone or something going in there or clay. Anyway, there's no coal mines around here, which is both a good and a bad thing. We'll just check for oil as well before we start building. We can safely build a big town here. Oh, there's a patch of oil over here. I may, just while we're here, place down a few oil pumps. Because while I've got the oil available to me there, I might as well play some while I've got it. There we go. And they can be working away in the background. I'll just build a nice tank for them to fill. Right, how many of those did I just build? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means I need to pipe nine into one. That's going to fill this storage in no time. Because looking at it, the, the storage tank here... Oh, I'm using shift and mouse wheel, wheel roll to be able to zoom in there. You've got two inputs, two outputs on this tank. And because of the way this all works, I'm going to actually place the tank off to the side over here. Maybe a couple of tanks. Or more. I'm going to do a third tank. Then what I'm going to do to connect all that up, and we need the infrastructure, I keep forgetting, you need infrastructure for the thing. I'm going to do a three into one pump. Now, if you zoom in, you can see there's three inputs to one output on this pump. So I'm going to do 
three pumps going into this one thing. If I angle it there. So what I can do now is build that pipe into the side of this. I can fill one tank with that. I can take one oil line to there, one to there and one to this one. And that way I'm pumping three pumps into one tank. It just it's easy to handle the oil when you're doing that. Oh, that's a one line to three outputs, so I need to choose the right one. I said I've got nine pumps. So I've got three more pumps there. Want it out that way. Do that one there. Rotate this round a little bit. I think I'll just take this one a bit closer out this way. And then place that there. So that we've got nice easy connections with this actual pumps because you can only go a certain distance. Also, if you get a hill in the way, Q and E, well, Q moves it down, E moves it up. I just used E to move that up a little bit. And you see that pipe's too long. So I can't actually connect that one. So what I'm going to do, build those, this building, and those pipes. And we'll replace the building because I made a mistake there. Wait a minute. Those buildings under the pipeline there. Yes, they were. So the pumping station, I need to at least come to here. Because that was not long enough to make that distance. So if I come to just back here and then cancel that pipe there, I could probably just get that to fit in there. And I know what I've done. I've just did that so that I can actually show this. You can go up with the E and then come down on the other side. Too far down. But there we go, I've just piped that round there instead. And then this should be able to get in there? No. It's not too long, it's just that building's in the way. We'll just run the game a fraction just so that our building goes away. No, it didn't. Go away. Thank you. Then we'll run this pipeline into there. Could have run into the other one, I guess. But I'm using one per tank anyway. Hill causing obstruction. Okay. I thought, I thought for a second there that I actually had um, the problem where it was too long. Oh, that one is too long. Oh. Come on, no, don't do it to me. So you can make it to there, but you just can't make it the rest of the way. So I've actually placed two of them wrong. Demolish, yes. So if I place that there, that's roughly the same distance from the other one. So this pipeline should be able to make it if I just hit fast speed, get rid of that. That has building in the way. We'll run it a little longer. And there we go. Phew, that does work. These can all connect then. I take that out the side. So we've got all that oil connected up into tanks. The tanks then can then go into a a production facility for oil, bitumen and fuel. Well, it takes oil in, produces bitumen and fuel. But we'll leave that for now, I think. Ah, that's the station. See, there's the oil re oil refinery. The oil refinery is here. You you input oil on this side. So I'd have to merge those three tanks down into two and then input them into this. Then I guess you can do this, but I'm not sure how to do the research yet. Because it says re required research chemistry. 
and I haven't seen anything for the research. Most important topics. Da -da 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 -da. See, I, I'm actually learning stuff here as well, and that's not really good. Construction from resources without money. Well, I've done some of that myself in the, in previous versions. Gaining resources. It doesn't actually tell me anything about the research there, or from what I see. Oh, didn't I didn't know I actually had that list of vehicles. That would have been handy for my last game that I played. Right, well... Let the simulation run slowly so that those pipelines build. Come on, you can build it. Right. We need people. We need infrastructure. We need roads. So I'm going to build a road just straight across here. And level it. Come on, you can level it. So there's a dead straight level road there. And then off that, we're going to build a large bus platform, or just a standard bus platform. And that's going to be offset over here. Hopefully, that will connect up to the road, because I just realised the road's up in the air. Yeah, it will. There we go. What we've got there is a nice place to start with our bus. We it, It's basically a bus route. Then we'll build another road across here, level it all out, dig down or whatever we need to do to get it in. And then connect that across. We need these connections across so that we can build as buildings in between. I think I'm going to have to level that terrain out just now. This is why I started with plenty of money, because <clears throat> we've burned through half a million already. And we've not even built a building yet. Admittedly, I went a bit crazy and decided to do some oil. But that's not my fault. That, 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 that's just, just how things are, you know. Right. Time to get some residential buildings. Now, how many workers do you think we're going to need? This is an estimation of workers here. Well, we don't need workers for constructions yet. These take 15 people max, 40 and 40. So there's 95 people needed out there. So we need at least 95 people in workers just for that. So I'm thinking we should actually do 100 workers. So there's a building with 100 workers, I'm sure of it. I've seen that. There we go. Flats with bricks. What we can do, we we'll zoom in. And we can place flats with bricks. And if we get it in the right position just there and level that out. We can't because it says there's infrastructure in the way. Well, we'll try again. Can't because of infrastructure. And now we can because of reasons. <laughs> Sometimes that's silly. So we've now got the building with enough people to be able to do that, but the people need different things. And we'll automatically get citizens there. It's already Thing here, and we can remove citizens in from other buildings as well. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to let this run and build this little bit we've just built. Once all the roads are constructed, we'll connect this connect connection up as well there while I'm at it. So that we have one of the working areas connected. Of course, we do probably need some workers down there. I can't remember if they do. They don't. That doesn't. And that doesn't. Oh, that's okay. So, we've got people in. No, oh, we still need to run that a little bit. That road's all built now. 
There was bus stations there. Students are waiting. And we've got a load of people in here. There's people without power. We have no electricity in this town yet. So we need to look at the electricity. I'll cancel all that. Bring in construction, energy related. Electric substation. We need an electric substation to power our buildings. I'm going to place this right here near the middle of the town. That way, most of our buildings will get electricity from a very early on, very early stage. If I just stick it here, oh. we then need to connect it up with a medium voltage set of power cables. Now, the power plant, we don't have coal at the moment, so we can't exactly use a power plant. So, we're going to have to make our own power system. We've got a transformer there. If we place a transformer out here somewhere, this is just going to be a random placement. I'm not going to choose anywhere specifically good for it right now. It's just... I want it somewhere nearby, but not too far away. We need a medium power supply into the middle of the town now. So I'm just going to go straight across, bring it in towards the town, and try and connect it up to there without too much trouble, which is that done. Then we need high voltage wires, because what we're going to do is we need to run high voltage power I need, I need to select it before I do that. Out to the border. At the border, we have that connection there. I just went, simply went direct from where I was out to there. Right, we can cancel that. We need to purchase power for now. So I'm going to buy one megawatt, which is a thousand kilowatts. So there's a thousand kilowatts of power coming in. And uh, we can run the simulation again. Power cables are all built. We now know, know whether or not we've got power when this is all done. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.